thought I'd take a moment and celebrate some Texas agriculture. I'm in Central Texas. It's July of 2016, and um, this cornfield, um, pretty nice yield potential, probably in that 150 to 165 uh, yield bushels per acre. But what I really wanted to do is just celebrate the soil. In this particular setting, it's the Houston black clay, which is the state soil of Texas. And what most people come to know it for are the cracks that start to develop. And, um, you know, it's probably been a month and a half since we've had any rain. But what's really unique about the Houston black clay is that it's about 50% clay, which is, which is really high by most standards for crop production locations, uh, especially in the United States. But these cracks just get wider and wider as it continues to dry out. But the main clay mineral that makes up the Houston black clay is called smectite. And smectite is a clay mineral that has a lot of shrink swell uh, characteristics about it. So when I get plenty of rainfall, this will really swell back up, seal back over, and it'll look like a typical field um, you know, prior to planting. But as the season progresses and the corn's taking up the moisture and all of that, it starts to shrink and then you get these cracks. And these cracks can be quite deep, actually. Um, when you start reaching down in here, you know, your hand can go well beyond. Um, I mean, if you had the ability to get down to 18 to 24 inches, that's how deep some of these cracks are. And they're probably even deeper than that, but the width of the crack gets smaller and smaller as you get deeper. So 50% clay, high shrink swell capacity. So the challenge that a lot of Texas growers have is trying to work this. So what's really interesting is it just comes apart in blocks. Uh, large aggregates and if you just keep working at this um, you can get really deep but again look at the size of those chunks again when we do our tillage and things that's what happens it becomes really cloddy and challenging to work with but as I keep working this apart um, if I can you know these, these blocks down below get really interesting very large if you watch the cracks over the course of a year's time uh, a lot of times they'll crack in the exact same places so these faces tend to be uh, almost in the exact same location year over year now it's hard to find that in a cornfield that's always under tillage and constantly being worked but uh, if you can find a place where you could reference that it almost cracks in the same place along the same faces so it's interesting to watch that. But again, big clods, large aggregates, and um, makes it very challenging for homeowners that struggle to keep moisture so that this doesn't constantly wreak havoc on the foundations. And look at the size of that. So 50% clay, again, mostly smectite, makes that a very challenging soil to work with. But these cracks, if you, can, if, you can, if you can tear this apart carefully and follow them, they'll go deep, uh, sometimes as much as three feet or so. So a great place to lose your phone, your keys, your wrenches, all kinds of tools. But that is the Houston black clay. And it, it predominantly found um, in a region we call the Blacklands of Texas, which goes from an area to the north of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The narrow band, relatively narrow band, comes all the way down to the San Antonio area. But um, that's what a lot of corn, wheat, um, grain sorghum, and a lot of pastures for cattle grazing. Uh, you know, this is what we're this is what we're you know making our living on, and that is the Houston black clay.